Microsoft Excel is an application in which you can make big spreadsheets to process large amounts of data, make complex calculations and even organize purchases, products and more. In this video, I will help to make you familiar with the Excel interface so that you can start using it right away. Let's begin. When you first open an empty Excel sheet, you will first see the ribbon at the top of your screen. Maybe you're already familiar with the ribbon from other Microsoft 365 applications, such as Word and PowerPoint. In the ribbon, you can find almost all options you need to get the most out of Excel. In the tab Home, you can find all text and cell style functions and buttons to undo and redo steps you've taken in Excel. In the Insert tab, you get the option to add different elements to your spreadsheets, such as illustrations, images, charts, and more. At the tab Formulas, you will find everything you need to create mathematical formulas that you can use to manage data more easily or calculate complex equations. In Data are all the options to retrieve data, transfer data, and even sort and filter it. In the tab called Page Layout, you have several options to change the page setup and to arrange elements by either bringing them into the front or into the back. With the Review tab, you can add comments, automatically check your spelling, change the settings for your spell check, and protect your worksheet by for instance locking cells. Above the ribbon, you can find a few useful buttons to for instance enable or disable auto-saving of your document, or manually save your document. Right underneath the ribbon, you can find the formula bar. Here you can manually type in or edit formulas. Or if you want, you can just type some text or a number here and it will show up in the selected cell. You can also press the FX button to quickly add a formula. At the bottom of the screen, you can find the status bar. Here you can find different types of data that correspond with your current selection. Here you can for instance see the number of formulas you have selected and the number of cells with data in them that you have selected. You can also change the viewing mode of your document here. And at last we have the file tab. If you select this tab an entirely new window will open with some useful functions. Here you can create a new empty spreadsheet, save your current file, create a copy of your file, open other saved files and even print your spreadsheets. From here you can also open the options window. Here you can change your program settings to customize your Excel experience even further. And those are all the basics you need to know to get started with Excel. Now it's time to play around with Excel yourself. Good luck.